Good morning, folks. A reminder there will be no morning news tomorrow. Family time. I spent most of yesterday watching disruptions on the solar surface fail to erupt, including a plasma filament that has some pretty serious size. Alas, no significant flaring in the coronal mass ejections did not manifest in Earth's direction. We do have coronal holes that will keep the solar wind amplified over the next several days, but probably not without a brief reprieve coming later today, when this extended period of high solar wind speed streams should lessen. Quick geophysical note, as an earthquake struck Georgia overnight that was not only above average and in a strange location, but it rang in on our algorithms as a blot echo, with the first signatures coming from the deep, 100 kilometers down. Hopefully, ends up being nothing, but this is what catches the eye of someone versed in pre-earthquake signals of larger magnitude rumbles. The first of four pieces here on geomagnetic biology, which obviously plays into solar activity and the ongoing geomagnetic excursion as well. Here it's the eels needing magnetic imprinting to achieve several migrations in their overall life cycle. Not great with the field changing. This is a confirmation but a fantastic reminder that plants need to be included in the list with birds, mammals, marine creatures, and insects all vulnerable to changes in Earth's magnetic field. It's a book chapter, actually, in a new piece by Taylor and Francis. A couple other good chapters to be recommended are a macro-scale literature survey and a mechanistic coupling overview. For example, one characteristic of all life is its use of energy. This involves ions, and from there, it's no secret why magnetic fields would be important. That doesn't even begin to touch the migration aspect of many of the creatures on the list. Finally here, it's always good when we see their models make progress. In this case, their models were finally able to produce two key observationally proven phenomena, the rapid changes in the field and the geomagnetic jerk effect on the length of day, Earth's rotation. This is one of the reasons we believe the record rotation rates as Earth's days grow shorter is related to the ongoing geomagnetic field changes and why we think the bigger version of a geomagnetic jerk, a full excursion, field reversal, etc., would cause tremendous effects on Earth's crust. We greatly appreciate your support. Again, no morning show tomorrow. Watch the playlist listed below the video for more on geomagnetic forcing of the Earth's rotation and eventual tilt, swaying like a drunkard. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again on Monday, right here, but right now it's 4 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.